Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the laid back camp movie. All right, so here is the deets. So, of course, I cannot put it all in a two hour video, duh, because you know, software that I'm using. So, of course, we're going to cut it down to three parts, even though, yeah, it's going to be in one whole movie, I mean, one whole video, regardless and such, instead of, like, whatever part. So, this first part will be to the 49 going on 50 minute mark. The second part will continue from that mark. I'm trying to see specifically where that ends. Um, so, part one will end right at a moment where Rin and Kirby are having a conversation. I remember, I think I stopped it for part two specifically where um Kirby and Ren are walking up a slope in the snow towards I think a hot spring and then we'll continue from that moment onwards to the end but I am really excited from this I remember from when we saw like the first initial looks of this movie is of course they're adults so I am really excited to see how this is going to you know go with these girls and the issues that they're going to go with and stuff but it's going to be of course a very comfort film this has been one of those films that has been on my list for the longest freaking time and even it was funny enough like when the two SAO movies came out I, I was like that's also but then Crunchyroll decided to put all three of these movies on their site and I was like I have to watch this one day so that one day is finally today because of course you know next week I have to go back to work so I got to do it now but also before Game of the Year possibly comes out in the next six hours, so, yeah. But other than that, let's go, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop right here, and I'll see you guys in a moment for the first part. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Mind you, mine has credits. I don't know if yours has, like, credits at the beginning, so... Never mind. It's too quiet. <gasps> oh. This looks more like the ending of season one, maybe. cashews in here because I am hungry. Is she drunk? Yep. <laughs> of course. Y'all wake up, y'all, for a sensei, though? I mean, I know she was clearly drunk, but damn. Mm. Even she going to eat, too. Ah!
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That makes sense. Oh. Oh, Kirby. And then flash forward. That toast look good. I'm guessing she's always the first one to come in first and the last one to leave. Damn, a business trip and then you coming to work early? Bruh, dedication. Well, I mean, but that's a rim. So it kind of seems like Ren's a, yeah, she's like a journalist, yeah. Damn. Mm -mm. 
Kirby! <gasps> she got her hair too! <laughs> she looks so cute! <laughs> Stop! They so freaking girlfriends, my wives! Oh my god! I wonder if anybody else cut their hair or just grew their hair out. Excuse me. <gasps> Are you gonna see your sister? Ah! Let's go! Remember when she used to not know much? Look how much she's grown! Oh my god, the baby! Oh, hello, Percy. So, you just want a, a basic starter one? <laughs> and that's what Kirby used to date in the episode going in the tunnel. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> I love how Rin just has the routine. Like, the slippers are already there at the door. 
roll. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> that nostalgia for being a kid again. The whole weekend off. I miss those two. Because, you know, me working on fucking Sundays. Or you could always go home. Oh. <laughs> ah, you cut your hair short too. I think this is just the year of where all the girls just cut their hair short because technically everyone has long hair. Um, except, uh, what's your face? Chico is, um, owner. Yeah, that's the one thing about life. <laughs> oh, no, no, our hair's so long. You what? Why? I had to about to do put that in the group chat. But like, oh my god, look who I met up with! <laughs> my girl Aki, I mean, she she chugged all her beer and then sits and chugs freaking Ren's Ren's drink like girl. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and even the narrator comes back too. That's sweet. I wonder how much that price was for that whole trip. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, it's five in the morning?
freaking Aki. <laughs> Not working, of course. But it looks like a nice area. You can just, it just needs a little tender love and care. No hello? No. Damn. This is not Daijobo. Damn, that's even more beautiful. <laughs> well, hello, good morning. It is. It is, and it's going to take a lot of work just to bring it back up. That's almost like very close to what a freaking mortgage on a home. <laughs> That's the biggest reason why she bought Ren here.
Well, what about everybody else? What about Ali and Kirby and what's her face? Because we can't say, you know, Kirby and Rin's friend because technically she doesn't really have anything to do with this just yet. Maybe she might have an appearance in this, but I, I don't think so. Because the fact is, we are continuing kind of right after season one. It seems like it's going to be a no-go. <laughs> Plus, didn't this come out before season two aired? How did you know they were out here? That look good. I'm not a tofu girl, but damn, that look good. Crab. The piece of the resistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> nice and tender and juicy. Mmm. Yeah. Uh Poor baby. God damn. I know that crab was bomb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't think she would be an elementary school uh, teacher. That's sweet. Oh, damn. True. <laughs> it 
really more or less we're. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, you'll see mostly sunny weather. You can expect a high of 81 degrees Fahrenheit. In yeah, the yeah, yeah, shut up. Degrees. All right, so now how are we going to get all this started? Oh. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Rain. Right? You've been camping longer than the rest of them. <laughs> Cody! so and especially with your friends right Baby got a bike bike now. No more moped scooter. Even though I love her scooter. I love the hell out of it. That has to be her grandpa's. Well, I mean, it makes sense because she did love the crap out of, she does love the crap out of bikes. We learned that more or less today in episode four. You look like you're doing good too. Oh, I'm happy we got a moment together. Oh my God.
Actually, yeah, that would. I hope it's a bigger room. Oh my god! Let's not. True. <clears throat> okay, so still like with a park and a jungle gym. Kirby with the lighting. Oh my god. It's super hard. Maybe you shouldn't do it manually? We need power souls! <laughs> hmm? 
Oh, okay. And they would leave. <laughs> See? Easier. Mm-hmm. See? Easier. And you'll be able to get done quicker. Well, it's complicated, though, sometimes, you know? Mm-hmm. But still, it'd be nice.
That's good. to say, babe. I also love that Kirby. She doesn't have regular furniture. She's using camping gear as her furniture. That's so cute. And it's so hard, too. We're almost to the end. Of, yep, I got like a minute left before we're done with this first part. What damn? <laughs> also, I'm loving Garvey's car. It suits her so much. But it also looks like her sister's car in a way. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and stop there. But no, from as much as we've seen, I'm already loving this. Like, mm, dead ass, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for part two. Alrighty, part two in three, two, one, go. Oh, that looks 
not good. She still just looks the same. She's of age. You'd be like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm of age. So come on, let's. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the dream of hanging out with one of your favorite teachers would be like, yeah, I think you want to go grab a drink. You know, since I am of age now. <laughs> there all night. <laughs> Only three of them, though. Okay, Aki. Mm hmm. Of course you did, babe. There you go. Oh my god, Manpa! Ooh, that look good. <laughs> Rin, what you doing the whole entire time? Eating.
Lunch time. Mm -hmm. A lot of other things. Raccoons. Monkeys. Yeah, that was a raccoon. Tanookies. Yeah, right? Because imagine if it was. No. looks a lot better. I just need to grow some good behind you trees. Get some lighting and add everything else. What's up? Oh, poor baby.
Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Now, okay, this was something we talked about between season one and season two. You know how there's, like, that one big tent that has, like, other um, interchangeable rooms and something like that or ish, whatever? It's a big-ass tent, and you can have many other sections. Now, if we had that, then, yeah, I'll go camping with y'all. No, look at my old man. He's so cute, cute and titty. <gasps> there we go! Yay! 10 out of 10 once again. <laughs> she really is because I was about to say that myself
<laughs> they eating good and they gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, Chicoa. It is, but it's so cool. Oh.
Yeah. I love her hangers. I wish I could find some like that. I'm going to look on Amazon after this. <laughs> Sad. Not only to lose the camping ground, but also the school. Damn. So now she's out of a job in a way.
She has all this free time now. Maybe. <sighs> oh, it's those girls again. Mm -hmm. Right? Bring your dreaming, babe. Oh my god.
That's what happens when you don't get enough sleep, you guys. <laughs> Some weird behind dreams, baby. Oh, oh my God. Mom, sweet. Hmm? A hot spring. There we go. We're almost to part three. Right? It feels more like a mm, freaking trail climb. Mm -mm. I'd be looking at Curvy a completely different way after this. Be like, I hope so, babe. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, because she got that Curvy influence. Oh. Here I go home. Just a girl and her dog.
minute left before we're done with part two. I know, Ren, I'll be tired. <laughs> A little farther. Okay, all right, pause it on that. I, I love the fact, I, I hate the fact that they lost the um, the campground because, you know, hold on, my butt hurts. They really put their all into this. I will say that, like, dead ass. If they really were not dedicated to it, they wouldn't have done everything that they did. And literally was there almost every single day, every single weekend trying to get everything done. Yes, I, I mean, it is a little, it sucks a little bit that Chico have found that piece of a pot and now the whole entire place is going to be turned into a museum. I, I just, you wonder with this next part, how is this all going to conclude for these girls and such? What are they going to do next? Because they had all this time that they planned on with this camping site and campground that now that it's moving on to something else, these girls don't really have that much time anymore. And they have a whole bunch of free time now, which sucks. And so I love the fact that, you know, Ren and Kirby are getting this moment to spend time with each other. Aki and Aoi, you know, really are just like, really more of Aki is super depressed about this. And so I truly feel bad for her the most because she, it was her baby. She really wanted to do a lot more with it. Um, Chico and Anna, they, they just call. They, me and Cody, they, they chilling out and stuff, and that's really sweet. So I love the fact that we're getting to have little moments with them. But yeah, it just makes me wonder what the heck is gonna happen and how this is going to conclude. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final part. Okay, final part in three. Hold on. In three, two, one. That means when you get out, you gotta hurry up and change. Quick. Damn. Oh, oh,
Yep. Sometimes it sucks to be a grown up. Sometimes. Mm hmm. Hmm. She's right. I hate when the marble gets stuck in it and stuck it out. <laughs> So good though. Excuse me. John Campbell. Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes. No, just you two. Oh my god, it's Rin and Kirby. <laughs> I mean, she closed that door quick, fast, and hurry.
look good. No, you would think you would put up a fight or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Best of both worlds. I think it's a wonderful idea. And it'd be good for the kids, too. So. Yeah. 
just gotta work harder. What's up? school. Oh. Uh-oh. Mm, that look good. It's official now, yay! I wonder if Ren um invited what's her face. Hmm. 
True. Oh. Oh. They knew that they had to do this. This was the only way. As much as we loved her seeing seeing her drive on her grandfather's bike, like we had to go old school. Come on now.
You did good, babe. the damn alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat, you do what you gotta do. I'm proud of him. I truly am. Me too. Mm Yeah, because you didn't show up last time. You were busy. Okay, final thoughts. This was a really good movie. Honestly, in a way, it didn't really feel like a movie. It just felt like a long, two-hour-long episode and such merging into them going into adulthood and such i mean if they really wanted to do like let's say the show gets like another two seasons i would love to see at least like season five or even season four them as adults because the fact is we know they're getting ready to be very close to graduating high school and to go on to college i would love to see past this point and then continuing on into their adulthood and stuff and doing other things together because it was just so sweet I, I hate the fact that you know first with part two all these like conflicts were happening um Ali with her school and then the same thing with Aki and all everything else in general as we talked about when we watched the first half the second half but the fact that it had concluded with them not only using it as still as a memorial but it's still a campground at the same time Look at <laughs> Oh my god, so cute. Um, and having that so that, you know, that piece of history will always be there at that camp that campground is really sweet. I do love that. Love the fact that what's her face also got to make an appearance in this because even when I said at the beginning of this, I was like, This oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought this was taking place more of like season one, but no, this is kind of really after season two going a little bit into season three because Rin's friend slash also Kirby's friend is the only newest character that we're seeing in this movie. We haven't seen the other two girls just yet, even though we're only on episode four of season three. Oh, I like that they're showing them again. That's sweet. I would love to see a spinoff with those three because they seemed really interesting. Um... But it does make me even more excited to see the two new girls eventually making their first appearance very soon and wondering how that's going to go. But no, this was really wholesome and cute. It gave me the feels that I needed. I am so happy I finally was able to watch this. This is everything I wanted and more. It was just, it, it was wholesome. It felt like being with a friend for like a really long time for two whole hours and Getting to see, you know, how grown up these girls have gotten. And in a way, throughout these three seasons and a movie, we have grown with these girls. And we've seen them go through so freaking much. But I love the fact is, New Year's, they're there. They're always going to put each other first. And you do that as a friendship. Even though you're, you're super freaking busy with everything else in your life, 
you always come back to each other and hang out and make time for each other. I think that's really sweet. And, and they can make it, like, they're making it a tradition. They're always going to go to that campground because that's theirs. That's their place of zen. That's their home, away from home. I think that's just really sweet. This is a damn good movie. Oh, my God. And you didn't make me cry. Because typically, sometimes, depending on the anime series for the movie, you make me cry. But no. This was really good. I would love to see a second movie if there is a possible, like, works in it. Especially because of the fact is, like, I, especially, let's say if they do make a second movie, we're going to see it in the new art style. Because, like, as much as I love the new art style, coming to this movie and to see the old art style. Look at the pine cone! Oh, my God! Oh, it's so sweet. Coming back and seeing the old art style. Just, that's home in a nutshell, just to come back and to see these girls more high def defined in the old art style, seeing everything in the old art style and stuff, it's just like, damn, I feel like I'm home again and such. As much as I love the new one, because the new one is really good, it's really, it's more like HDD to the max and stuff because everything is just like wow out there. It makes like everything pop a lot. And so, I mean, once again, look at that, that opening in a nutshell. Hella pop. Um, but no, really, this was just, this was a 10 out of 10 good experience. I love the fact that, like, with each girl, they're in a specific career that, like, is for them. It, it makes me now really wonder and <laughs> it makes me want to laugh going into next week, especially if we see something with like Aki and such. Like I, I never would have thought Aki would have been the drunk one out of the group, but homegirl was over here knocking it back. Like, damn girl. <laughs> I mean, she was written. Then, like she hears this. Like, like sensei, I'm of age now. I can drink. You want to go to this bar and go get drunk with me? The first thing you say, your teacher, I have to see your teacher for the, like, the longest time. is like, hey, you want to go get a drink with me? <laughs> but still, it also surprised me that, yeah, she quit her job and stuff. But she's, she's now working in a field that she is 100% confident in. Really, looking at all five of these girls. They're in careers that they're 100% confident in. I love the fact that with Kirby and her job, she's technically, like, if there is a store IRL that is, like, equivalent to the Forest Owl, I think it is, um, girl, I was about to say Dick Sporting Goods. No. Um, it, it's, a, there you, okay, so where I used to live, over by the airport, there is, there was a camping place there. Um, really more, it wasn't really camping. I think it was like a fishing store, but it probably had some camping aspects and maybe that could have been one of the places that, you know, the studio looked at apart from, I'm not sure. Um, Owie and her school, like, yes, I feel bad for her, the fact that the school closed down, but you know, hey, she got to still get another job and a different opportunity and uh, with her freaking... <laughs> <laughs> grooming and having the dog's hair in the cactus style like rain from season one all over again love the fact that they did also pay homage to season one they had a little bit of moments from that but yeah really love the fact that this was between season one and season two going into season three but yeah more, more of the story is can we just have a second movie please because this was too good for a good two hour movie good feels 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend hell I would even rewatch it in a heartbeat I, I think this would be one of those series I think I've said before with season one season two I would definitely want my mom to watch because like my as much as my mom loves the crap out of death note like her death note death note will be the number one in her book um she's already loving the crap out of spy family even though we um, I continued watching after the episode she fell asleep on, and I was just like, yeah. Hell, I just bought, like, not one, but two different figures. Like, you can see right there, there's Ani and Bon right there, and yours on my bed somewhere. I haven't really taken them out of the box. I'm currently leaving them in the box until I find somewhere to put them. But, um, she liked the heck out of it, so probably I definitely would introduce her to this next 
or something else that's really more wholesome and adorable and such because like I think my mom could pretty much like anything but you really never know but this was like I said a damn good movie I enjoyed it from beginning to end I love the fact that I got to see these girls you know even though it doesn't feel like it's one last time we're only on week four for the show but it still feels like we're possibly going to get more just probably not after season three I would love to see something else to possibly be announced by the time season three is over that whether that is a potential season four um an ova a movie another like 15 minute short like room camp was because i think they could literally do anything the sky is the limit for this show um i think the company and the studio who was animating this personally they know that this show is a gold mine um and such i don't want to say that they're gonna milk it to the ground but the possibilities, once again, are very much endless for this show, and they could literally do a lot with it. It does make me wonder, manga-wise, like, are we close to the manga, like, catching up-wise and stuff, to the point where it's like, they could potentially do an anime only a season, possibly? I have seen that before with some of the shows that I've watched. Um, and then, you know, fingers, fingers crossed, hopefully in the future, with all these other shows that have been created by this company with the manga, um, I mean, with the, the magazine series and stuff, that Kid of Fantasia possibly gets an anime, um, adaptation, even though eventually that game, I think about a couple of months ago, uh, I think at the beginning of the year, uh, got terminated, so, but I would still like to see that as an anime. Please and thank you, because I, I really would love to see Kirby and Bochi, like, interact, like, that is my dream collab. Deadass. I need those two to just interact. Like, I, I, I can imagine it now. My two pink haired kids <laughs> just interacting and doing some stupid ish together. And so, or how, like, Bochy is like, oh my god, I don't know about her. She's kind of scaring me. And, you know, Kirby is just, Kirby, always happy and excited. Like, that would just be, that's my dream. So, hopefully, in the near future, that definitely happens. Same thing with the, you know, um, the slow loop girls. Literally, but everybody in the dang show i'm just saying you can do it please and thank you but other than that guys that is my active view towards the laid back camp movie if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day until the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode five of course and then whatever else is coming out in the next couple of weeks, I know we're getting, we're very close to Demon Slayer coming out. So that's another thing I got to get ready for. But I just wanted to hurry up and get this out for you guys. And thank you for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.